there hasn't been a long history of enmity between Iran and the Jewish people. Um, can you talk about whether it's just pure propaganda to kind of rally the troops, or whether it's there's anything substantial there? Because the Palestinians are Sunnis anyway. Yes. Oh, first of all, we should uh, differentiate between the Jewish population inside Iran, which is not diminished in number substantially, and uh, the Islamic Republic's anti-Zionist uh, or anti-Israeli uh, uh, posture. These are two different things. Uh, Iran, historically speaking, has a kind of a checkered record as far as the Jewish community is concerned. Um, it was not always uh, very kind to them. Um, there were ghettos, no doubt. Uh, there were uh, discrimination against uh, the Jewish population in the past. Under the Pahlavi, that was largely removed. And the Jews in Iran managed to actually do quite well. It was one of the very few countries that did not send as m much uh, uh, immigrants to, to Israel. The Jewish population stayed in Iran because economically they were in a better position, professionally they were in a better position. Um, nowadays, whatever it survived, this 20,000 used to be a much larger population and much more widely dis uh, uh, spread around the country. Now it's mostly in Tehran. Many of the major centers of the Jewish population uh, in the smaller cities that, you know, Iran is one of the oldest, uh, uh, some of the oldest Jewish communities in the, w in the Middle East or in the world, I might say, uh, are in Iran, going back to the fifth century BC. Um, so you would see that uh, they somewhat are untouched. The government particularly makes a point that we are not anti-Jewish. But as far as their position vis-a-vis -vis Israel is concerned, it is very hostile. And I don't think that the uh, Israeli uh, government is helping it in any way, because it gives them all the, uh, uh, all the uh, supply of propaganda that they needed. They put all of this rhetoric of pro-Palestinian support for Palestine very much in the forefront. And if you go travel across the Middle East, or Muslim world for that matter, to go to Kashmir, of all the places that I've been. There's an enormous amount of support for Iran because they would see it as a representative of all the country in the region that actually supports the Palestinians. The Arab world is nothing. They're doing nothing. And uh, the Palestinians are in this uh, dismal position. And uh, the uh, uh, occupation uh, continues. And Iran is the only country at least make it, has a voice in uh, support for the Palestinians. So that is going to remain part of the rhetoric of the Islamic Republic, uh, unless there would be a change in the region. But if, if you talk to ordinary people, as I did some years back, they would say, OK, yeah, Israel is a very successful country. Why shouldn't we like Israel? We want to be a country like Israel. We want to industrialize. We want to develop. We want to be in the forehead. And Iranians don't see themselves. There's an enormous amount, unfortunately, enormous amount of uh, hostility and negative attitude towards the Arab world uh, in Iran, in today's Iran. Uh, uh, the, uh, in a sense, the other, number one other, is not the United States. It's not even Israel. It's the Arab world. And particularly with what is happening with Saudi Arabia, and um, this kind of a polarization of the Shi'i Sunni, that becomes even stronger, becomes even more powerful, uh, as we see. Iranians now going back to the ancient memories, our civilization has been, has been destroyed by the Arabs. We had, in, we had our own culture, we had our own civilization, we were a great power, it was a glor gl gl glamorized that past. Uh, but it's the nature of nationalism that you always actually go back to the distant past and consider it as the great moment that it has been lost. So in that regard, still I think the same. There's a very curious contrast that we see in this kind of a, uh, opposition to Israel and uh, occupation of the Palestinian lands, and yet at the same time this sense of a 
dislike particularly for the Iranian funds and Iranian resources going to uh, Syria to fight uh, there and to the Hezbollah. Hezbollah is not popular among the Iranian people at all. Mm -hmm.